Today, folks, let's have a look at the verb chanter in the passé composé. Chanter is to sing. Let's have a look at the verb chanter in the past tense, in the passé composé, also known as a present perfect. The way we do it is in three ways. We put a subject pronoun, which is I, you, he, she, and so on. We have an auxiliary verb, either to have or to be. In this case, it is to have in the present tense. And then we add a past participle. For chanter, er, it is chanter. Drop the R and add an accent. And there you have the past participle of chanter. And then it means sung. I have sung. Okay, so let's have a look at what happens when we put this in French. J'ai chanté. I have sung or I sang. It means both. Tu as chanté. You have sung or you sang. Il a chanté. He has sung or he sang. Elle a chanté. She has sung or she sang. On a chanté. One has sung or we, uh, one sang or it means we as well. Nous avons chanté. We have sung or we sang. Vous avez chanté. You have sung or you sang. Well done. Ils ont and elles ont chanté. They have sung or they sang. Song. Sang. Can you say song? Song. Sang. Can't say it. That's terrible. Now that proves that chanté is a regular verb, so quite easy to pronounce in French, not as easy to pronounce in English because it's an irregular verb in English. Okay, if I have a look at this again and you repeat after me, remember, we are conjugating chanté in the past tense. We're learning how to say, I sang. It's an action that took place in the past and is gone done over with. Here we go. J'ai chanté. Tu as chanté. Il a chanté. Elle a chanté. On a chanté. Nous avons chanté. Vous avez chanté. Ils ont chanté. Elles ont Chanté. Well done. Now, if I put that into an example, I could say, for example, J'ai chanté une chanson pour ma maman pour son anniversaire. So, I sang a song for my mommy for her birthday. Son anniversaire. Anniversaire. Okay, that's not a hard song. Here's another one. Nous avons chanté dans une chorale tous les mercredis. Nous avons chanté. So, we know for a fact it means we have sung or we sang. In a choir, tous les mercredis, every Wednesday. So, you could add every Wednesday evening. Tous les mercredis soir. Tous les mercredis matin. Ok? Here's another one. Ils ont très bien chanté. Ils ont très bien chanté. Now, this one is a little tricky because très bien means very well. So, they sang very well. Okay? But, where do you put the très bien here when you use the passé composé? It comes after the auxiliary uh, verb and before the past participle. So, we wouldn't say ils ont chanté très bien. Naturally, we, we could But it sounds better if you say, ils ont très bien chanté. You wouldn't say, ils très bien ont chanté. That doesn't work, okay? So, ils ont très bien chanté. They sang very well. And the last example, tu n'as pas chanté dans la chorale de l'école. Tu n'as pas chanté dans la chorale de l'école. Now, here's there is a negation, the negation where ne comes before the auxiliary and pa right after. And the past participle comes after pa. Okay, so it's ne auxiliary, pa, then the past participle. It means you did not sing. Tu n'as pas chanté. 
You didn't sing in the choir of the school, in the school choir. I'd like to start a new little section where I introduce you to a new French word every time I produce a video. But before I do that, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and why don't you leave a comment, okay? Because I always answer your comments. Check out manger in the present tense and manger. Manger. Chanter. Oh, chanter in the present tense and chanter in the future tense. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, check out all these verbs. It's very important that you know the three major tense in French. And I have just launched my Patreon page. So check it out on patreon.com slash French, where I ask you for your support. So the word of the day is la canicule. La canicule. And that means the heat wave. La canicule. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous bisous.